Oh, baby what's up how you guys doing welcome to the live stream happy sunday it's a beautiful day because it's daylight savings time which means we're an hour early for the uk for like two weeks and it means that i get more sun which means my serotonin levels go high and it means my mood gets high and it means that i will be happier because the sun now sets at seven o'clock let's <clears throat> really excited though um, very exciting, even more exciting because we have a fat stream today, eight hours. That's what I'm going to go for, um, because it's been a minute since we've done a long one and, uh, I want to play Elden Ring, but I also want to play some Tarkov with Jen. So we're going to do a couple things. Um, we're going to chill and hang out for a little bit. I didn't realize that it was daylight savings time till this morning, which is a great surprise to have when you wake up. I thought I slept great, by the way. I was at, I was in bed at like... 11 passed out by 11 30 and i woke up this morning at like 8 15 and i i was just like i feel tired what happened i thought i slept great nope is there a late night stream tomorrow night uh no tomorrow night i'm hanging out with cheney there will be one probably wednesday and thursday if i had to guess <laughs> my birthday is wednesday um, and, uh, I'm probably not taking a day off because my internet fucked that idea up. So I don't know. We'll play it by ear. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to not getting dark at five anymore. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, it's, not, it's like. It really is just a giant mood change for me, especially when I get done at 6 p.m. If I get if I get done at 6 p.m. and I have a full hour of sun, ooh, yeah, I'll be streaming on I'll be streaming on 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 Wednesday on my birthday. I haven't decided what I want to do yet, but I'll just probably be playing playing games. Hazers, thanks for the two months. Rastly, thank you for the 57. My Dilf, my Mattify. I was gonna say my Dilfy. Mattify, thanks for the 45. You almost have four years. And Mr. Michal. 
66. <clears throat> Drunk stream? No. I'll probably drink later in the day, but uh, I don't really have any plans for that. So bad during the winter time since I go to work and it's dark, and when I get home it's dark. That is so depressing, I know. Do Gamba for birthday? Maybe. Like, and you just mean Gamba champ, just start watching people play. I'm down to do that. I We haven't done it in a minute, and it's fun. Drunk at, like, 1 o'clock. That'd be so hard to do anything constructive. What's up, Farah? Um, speaking of daylight savings time, it does kind of suck that you realize how little uh, sunlight we get compared to Europe because Europe is so far north that, like, England is on par with, like, Canada. Like, in terms of where it is in the... Uh, on the globe and so you get so much more sunlight like i remember being in ireland during the sun or during the sun jesus during the summer and um and we left the pub at 10 and the sun was out and i was like what the fuck like, it was kind of alarming or like it was setting but um yeah you make the sacrifice during the winter and it's just dark so much happy birthday pink a whole ass year Arizona gets the most hours of sunshine in the world, though. Yeah, but that's just the amount of sunshine that exists. We're talking about daylight. Um, I don't care about sunshine that much, to be honest. I care about daylight. Uh, I didn't watch the streamer awards, really, no. But, like, I saw some highlights and stuff. It was cool. It looked really, I was, like, really impressed by how well it was done. The production company she hired was, was great. For a first run event, pretty fucking special. She's good. That's going to be her thing. If she wants it to be, she can basically leverage that to be her thing like uh, Jeff Keeley does, you know, with the video game awards. Like, if she really wanted to, she could make this. A I know how much work goes into planning stuff like that, not just on the music side, but also just doing a large-scale event and getting sponsors and shit. The race was, like, two months of my life. So, good for her. We need more stuff like that, though. It's like not really serious, but. The sun never sets in the summer at home. 24 seven sunlight in Northern Norway. That's too much. I don't need that. That's too much. I guess she's getting herself banned from live stream fails now. Why? Yeah, I didn't, I don't know what you guys are talking about segments and stuff. I just didn't watch very much cause I was busy. bunch of toxic people i i mean hey live stream fail is uh man i remember back in my day before uh, live stream fail went downhill when we allowed ice poseidon on there all right when ice poseidon basically took over that subreddit that's when i realized that it was no longer we were we it was it was all downhill from that moment forward that's when games stopped being posted on there Judy got hate brigaded on live stream fail. She wanted people to react to the stream without rebroadcasting it. Yeah, I did think that that's funny though, because like a large portion of the streamers there do react content, um, and and then like so to see people do backflips trying to justify like. I think that it's pretty. It, I get where it's coming from, but also there's a reason why you sell at you sell sponsors against the potential for total viewership, especially since they're all technically watching the same. Like when you're doing ad reads. You know, it's, but I get it. I didn't, I don't care much either way. If she had, if, if, it, if I was allowed to rebroadcast it with, with not just my face, I probably would have co-streamed it. Yeah. But because it was just my face, I was like, okay, I'll play games. It's not like, that's just a choice. I don't think anybody needs to get hate rated for it. Just waiting till all the highlights are released. Yeah. There you go. Um, I'm going to order food. I haven't eaten yet today. So what the fuck am I going to order, chat? I'm feeling like since we're going to be streaming for a long time today, I want to have something that I can eat for lunch and for dinner. Something that's not messy, but that's pretty healthy. But like, you know, I don't want to like, I'm not eating curry. You know? Not going to do it. But I need to be able to order something that also has for lunch. And I'd like to order something that also delivers some sort of caffeinated beverage. 
chicken teriyaki bowl, breakfast burrito. No, it's 1215. Also burrito delivery usually doesn't handle well. What if I do bowls? I'm not doing sweet green. I could get Chipotle. I'm not going to do that though. Egg. Egg. Is this one of those logic puzzles? Yeah. Well, can I like... Fucking, do I want falafel? Zanku chicken, let's go. Um, The problem, it's not a problem. I, I do love it. I have to say that the problem that I have is that uh, there's so much Mediterranean food but not a lot of it, like, but that's not, I don't know if I feel like I want to go down that route. Go to a ramen spot? Oh, I, I do have a go-to ramen spot, but I'm not going to order ramen delivery. I had ramen last night. It was great. It was good. Delivery ramen sucks, though. Do you speak English? Not very well. You have no idea what they have in Cali? Uh, in California... There is unlimited options. It just depends. What do you want to eat? Basically, I'm deciding a major food group. Do I want Indian? Do I want Thai? Do I want, um, what is this? Healthy? Keto bros? Nope, don't want that. Do I want Chinese? Do I want sushi? They have $9 a gallon gas in California. They literally don't. The most expensive gas I've seen so far is $7.50 a gallon for premium um, with credit card. And across the street, it was $6.30. So I don't know. There's definitely some... There's definitely some places that are gouging. You want hot fried chicken? Hell nah. Spicy tuna tempura roll, teriyaki combo. See, get what kind of. I could be down to get some sushi. What kind of beverages you guys got? Anything caffeinated? Not really. Damn. The problem with um, I should go Thai. Thai places always have like coffee. I don't think there's very many Chinese or Japanese places that have like caffeinated beverage. No coffee is amazeballs. Yeah. Man, sushi would slap, though. I, I want to eat clean. I'm going to order sushi. Wait, this place is... They have Thai tea. We're banging. Damn, they got flavored sake. Let's just get tanked. Um, what do we want? I'm going to get a spicy chicken bowl with carrots, cabbage, broccoli, and chicken. That sounds great. You know, you got to get some, mm. Naughty ninja roll. Spicy crab. With a K, so it's imitation crab. Shrimp tempura, cilantro, avocado, tuna, and jalapeno spicy. Hmm. This place is not good sushi, though. And you know why I know this? Because they have deep fried rolls as like half of them. And that's when you know that it's probably not great. Should I get Kung Pao chicken? Fuck it, dude. I'm not getting sushi from here. Kung Pao chicken fried rice. So I got Thai tea, spicy chicken bowl, Kung Pao chicken fried rice. That's not healthy. None of this was healthy or clean. What am I doing? I don't care. Give me some fucking vegetable spring rolls. I 
I got 20. Oh. Lame. I was going to say I got $20 delivery credit. I don't, though. Is a Kung, you tell me Kung Pao f chicken fried this rice? Boo. It's awful. Delivery. Okay. Cool. Great. Oh, I can write this off. Thanks, chat. I didn't eat yet today. Yeah. In 2022, how can you write this off? What do you mean? I'm eating. My business is paying for it. My business has, de has decided that it was going to treat the employee to lunch today. So business paid for it. And because of COVID in 2021 and 2022, 100% of, uh, uh, you can write off, a well, you can write off the entirety of your meal for business expense, no matter what. So... That's not that it's free, but like you can you can deduct it all on taxes because of COVID. That's to the end of the 2022 tax season. So <laughs> we just have to talk about business while you're eating. No, I'm eating on stream. It's literally and also you don't even have to talk about business. If you're taking somebody out traditionally, you'd say like, wow, good business dinner here. But realistically, you don't have to. You can just if you if you are the business or if it's like a pass-through corp or an LLC or sole proprietor, you can just be like, all right, I am taking my employee out. Like the amount of things that you can write out, that you can write off is pretty extensive. You can have your company buy a car for you and say that's an employee vehicle and they can write that off on taxes. It's just like, I get it. It makes sense, but it's also like, no wonder, like everything's so complicated. You need to do your taxes. I just did taxes with my tax guy today. It fucking sucked. Alright, well, while that gets... While that gets going... I'm gonna try not to leak my home. Let's geoguess her. Did you go to the ISO EXO show? No, that was in that was in Berkeley, California. I I I watched because Dan was there. I watched the videos and I have not seen a crowd that rowdy in so long. It was fucking lit. It was lit. Anyways, here's your gamba. Oh, now it wants to work. Can you write off concert tickets? No. I remember Zillow gone wild. We saw a house burn. But yeah. Yep. Yes, we did. And also what I didn't realize was that house was also the house from Nightmare on Elm Street. Kind of wild. Kazers, thanks for the two months. Uh, Absolute, what are we doing today? Thanks for the tier two. So we're we're gaming all day today. I'm gonna wait for food and then we're gonna eat. Um, we have a new video that we gotta watch from the flow of uh, the hockey, Minnesota and hair, all hair, all hockey, hair team, whatever the fuck it's called. And then... Um, We'll play Elden Ring, and then later in the day, in a couple hours, we'll jump over and play Tarkov with Jen, I believe. We've been trying to play games together, and I've been dodging her because I'm a piece of shit.
Yeah, the all hair hockey team. I was struggling to even get, I couldn't get those words out of my damn mouth. I have literally not had a win in what feels like a year. In, in reality, it's been five, four times, but hey. This is Africa. No, Philippines. No! All right, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Definitely the Philippines. Her core her college of business. Hotel and restaurant management. Let's go. Um, Testa... Vacational Technical School. Testa Dumalog. Does that say? Dumalog. Ah, yes, Dumalog. Quadrangle. Dumalog Capiz. So I'm looking for Capiz or Dumalog. I don't know. Capiz or Dumalog? Dumaget. Cadiz? It sounds similar. Not sure if this is a... Uh... Not sure if this is a good play here. What? It's not Indonesia. It's 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 the Philippines, right? You can float, hover, curve. I mean, I can hang on it. I can do so many things, and that's what we were looking for before. God damn it! <laughs> creativity to come up with a lot of a lot of ideas. Um, well, you win some, you lose some. Dumalog? Dumoran? I don't think it would be over here. If I had to guess, which I do have to guess, I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to leave it where it is. Because I just don't think I have a better guess than the one that sounded similar. Yeah, see? I guessed here. Wow. Ah, probably wasn't zoomed in enough. It's fine. We're there. The real digital TVs. Not fake? Real digital? Real satellite TV? Okay. Um, soccer stadium? They're building it right now as we speak. That's a little close to uh, everything in Nigeria, right? Dude, he's dripping right now. Love the floral. Benin City. Stadium Road. Well, how we're going east, southeast. Here's the stadium. I just, uh, I feel like 
Are these homes that you can live in underneath the stadium? Like, imagine the game's going on. One day the stadium shall be built. Samuel Og something Stadium. Daddy J. I mean, there's like f there's an airport. Are we near an airport at all? I mean, I know we're in the city. I know we're in the city. So th at, at the very least, like, nope, I'm not going down there. Okay, I guess I am. At the very least, like, you, you know we're in this. Okay, I'm... Uh... Buyer beware. This house not for sale by family. Rent beware. This house not for rent by family. What the hell? Oh, I think people are like, getting scammed that they say it's for sale. Oh, my God. All right. Cool. Yeah, there's no way I wouldn't even see the fucking... Well, like, do you guys see... Uh, Is this the... This is the... Stadium? Don't ever doubt. Unless you doubt and you feel really good about it. In that case, then you know what? That's fine. Um, Fanta. You know what I didn't realize? That Fanta was created by the Nazis. Hey, puppy. South. I can't read. <laughs> ah, I hate to break it to me, guys, but I can't read very well. Well, this is certainly something. I don't know. I I I I don't I don't think it's Mexico. I think we've been getting a lot of Guatemala recently for whatever reason. Is that a toucan? The Green Party toucan? If you were a that sounds very I mean, it's just a lot of residential stuff. Oh. Aha. Um, well, we know it's in Mexico. I just don't know where. Um... It looks, I'm going to say it looks like down here, maybe. Yeah. Probably best for us to guess Mexico City area. Agriculture. What does that say? Region what? V Francesca. I don't know where that'd be. I don't know. Damn. I wasn't getting that.
My Mexico gotta be so big? Dude, it's huge! Whoa! Cool. Icelandic. Where are you guys going? Oh, the Iceland. What is this? Is this a, okay. That's a I thought that was a grocery store. Um, dude, so crazy. Look how big it is. Um, uh, if we're in, we're going like East and we're like in a, I don't know where the water is. I don't think it fucking matters. We're like over here. Okay. I feel like there's not even, I feel like people don't even, you don't even like have a street address, all right? It's just, which house is it? That one. Fiarda Hotel. Maybe? Nah, I don't know. It doesn't, I don't feel like it is. Um, the East, it might be, I don't know, 37 seconds. Am I here? Give me a road, dude. Wait, no, that's it. No, for sure. Look, here's the roundabout. I'm right. Right here. That's close right there. I'm sorry guys, it just is what it is. Oh baby. Office Mart. Turkey. Now don't freak out. We're going northeast. I said don't freak out because it could be eh, Turkey's huge. Like so big. Um I need to find the road. Come hurry it or Nick boy. Not helpful. It's tiny. It's so small. No, I don't want to go in here. Here we go. Gazantep over here. Gazantep is 220 miles to the southwest. Adiman is here and dog 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 in dog in Sahir is closer. Two 
220. So this is 70 miles roughly, right? So it's probably. Fuck, I actually really thought I got the right one. Oh yeah, kilometers. He has no concept of distance. No, that was that was fine. What I did was fine. I I completely did that in a in a normal way. I was doing I said if this is 200 x if the distance between these two is 70, then I can just do that again twice and you're like, "Alright, cool." Bada bing bada boom, dude. Damn, with the exception of this one, not ideal. Where's my food? Almost being picked up. <laughs> You're a doubter this one time? Damn. Actually, hold on. Global. Um, world, pop that out. I'm so hungry. I'm so fucking hungry. This is Brazil. Uh, I cannot wait to eat. Every time I bet on his wins, I lose points. Sucks to suck. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. No way, is it a might is it another Wait, what is it? Uh... Fuck! Uh-oh. Oh, it's not here. It's underneath. It's underneath probably Trinidad and Tobago or it's above Trinidad and Tobago. Why does it do this? It's got, it's an island, isn't it? If not, then it's Colombia, Venezuela. Uh, why am I blanking on the three countries that are up here? What's next to Colombia and, and Trinidad and Tobago? Colombia. I am so dumb. My brain is fried. Hey, I need food. My brain juice is gone. Suriname. To it's not Togo. It's not. Um, what is the name? I can't remember the name of this one. Why do I think it starts with a T?
Wait, not, oops, I thought, hold on. What's north of that? I don't know what's north of this, south of this. I just wanna see if it's an island or not. I don't know it. My brain don't work today, dude. I don't know any of the island nations here. And I can't for the life of me remember what's south of here, but I don't think it's here. I think it's I think it's an island. I don't know. One of these. Like French like uh like um like French Virgin Martin something or like Saint Martin Saint Martin Saint Martin Saint I don't even know what they're they are. Um I should have a give up. Let me look. What is my small pea brain? Oh, Venezuela. Why did I think Venezuela was to the left of Colombia? Guiana. It could be Curacao. It could be Aruba. It could be Granada, St. Vincent, Barbados, Dominica, Martinique, Guadalupe. In Gia, I don't know. Move slow. Barbados is the closest one. Hello. No one is available to take Dominica? Dominica is the closest one. Martinique? Which one? Mons. Nope, not a country apparently. It's not St. Lucia or Dominica. Is it not Martinique? Guess not. It's Antigua and Barbuda. Dude, fuck that. I didn't even know that was a country. No way. Like, no way. The problem with this is, like I said, they, like you're never gonna guess, you're never gonna guess the islands until you have like a dictionary or, or a list. All right, I am. My stomach is eating itself. It is picking up my food now. Too many island territories. Yeah. Larry the Lobster, thanks for the 22 months. L3W3, thank you for the six months. You know, you only know that country because that's a cool flag. It does have a pretty cool flag. God damn it! <laughs> All right, I got, I got to hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs> 